Larry, you were buying Facebook or Meta yesterday into the earnings results, right? Why did you yeah. have faith? It's still down 38% this year, so we'll put it in context, but nice move. Yeah, well, I've owned Facebook in, um, in all of the accounts that I manage for a long time, and I've had some new cash in. And when you have days, it really ties into the broader market. When you have down 900 points on a Friday, follow through on Monday, and then Tuesday, and everything's getting sold, it tells me there are opportunities everywhere. So really, I bought on the opening yesterday morning, saying the downside is limited from here. Dangerous going into earnings, given their last earnings, you know, that they the users were down. You talked to all these costs that people weren't expecting. But I thought the risk reward in a 13 PE and down so much on the year, it's probably not a not a bad risk to take. So I did add, and and thank goodness, you know, my uh, my stock pick was rewarded there. Did you agree, Gal? It wasn't a perfect quarter. Yeah, yes, we did see user growth, but revenues were a miss, and it's the slowest growth we've seen from Facebook in a while. Yeah, it wasn't a perfect quarter at all. Um, but. I think what we saw was that it was bad, but not as bad as people feared, and certainly could have been worse. And um, it did feel a little bit like like a clearing event um, for for Meta and for Facebook. Um, you know, the macro is impacting everyone, um, so that's that's going to be there. That's going to linger on for at least a couple of quarters. Uh, but w what we also saw was that some of the some of the biggest factors that weighed on them last quarter, um, like the uh, like the sequential decline in user growth and competition from TikTok. Um, as well as uh, the pressures from Apple's privacy initiatives, um, they didn't really get much better, but they didn't get worse. And and I think that's what the expectations were headed into the print um, that they would get worse, or that's what their fears were. And that's not what happened. Um, so that's I think that's why shares are reacting the way they are today. But you're still on neutral for the stock. Why? Yeah, we're st we're still on neutral. Uh, again, some of those things got answered. I think in the near term, I don't think competition from TikTok is going away. Um, certainly, the, the risks from IDFA and Apple are better understood, and I think that's that's a good check mark for the stock. Um, there there are still some real big macro risks right now, and I think there's still a lot of uncertainty um, in 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 the macro, uh, and that and that can really pressure shares potentially in in the coming months and quarters. Uh, so that's something we're keeping an eye on. We've seen that as a theme for Alphabet as well, which is coming back for Snap, which is coming back. A big big sort of sigh of relief moment today. But Barbara, you've been buying. A lot of these names. We've got Amazon and Apple after the close today. I think you've been also nibbling there, even though you've owned these stocks for a while. I have. And I think, you know, Egal's right about the macro uncertainty. So I think we have had nothing but volatility since the start of the year. And every month, big drawdowns. And when we've had moments like this last week, then I add. But I, the volatility is probably not over until I think we see peak inflation numbers when we are convinced it's coming down. Because I think right now the Fed is still driving the market. They have really made it clear their focus is to tame inflation. And, you know, even though I think a lot is in the market at this point, I think until we have better visibility and also the Ukraine situation is, is not helpful, um, I think we will continue to see volatility. So these stocks could come right back. But I think that... You know, buying in here, I think you are pretty much near the lows. And a year out, again, if you're an investor, you look at a year out. And a lot of these companies, I mean, this digital transformation is real and lasting. And I think what these earnings are showing, aside from Netflix, which has um, particular problems in terms of competition, you know, they are here for the duration and they are still the leaders and still doing quite well.